This is an application where the barrier material that was installed was a polystyrene material that was brought to the at attention of the, of the city in reference to the materials that's currently being removed. This could very well likely be your project should you not pay attention to your specs and watch the materials that are currently going in. Again, this is a styrene material currently being substituted in a lot of jobs throughout the state where projects are calling for root barriers. Contractors will typically bring in a uh, low-cost product and do the installation. Unfortunately, when that happens, you got to replace the barrier, put in the material that is specified, and then uh, redo the project. Again, this is your styrene material being manufactured by Villa Root Barrier, or Villa Products. As you can see how the ribs barely attach the material and how brittle the stuff is. This is a project in which the material was installed uh, by the contractor and unfortunately it's the wrong material. Okay, this is the uh, root barrier material that is currently going to be going in the ground there. What we'll do, we will slip a piece together and actually measure the material here. So you'll be able to see what you got. The clearance is supposed to be a minimum of six inches on the material here. And as we can see, clearly rib to rib, this is five and a half inches. Again, this is the root barrier material manufactured by Villa. The ribs carry a, a six inch clearance on the inside. Well, there's a little over six. However, where the panels are joined together, unfortunately, they're five and a half inches. And as we can see, the, the thickness of the rib, the connection portion, is roughly less than a half inch. So two and a half inches from here to there, and from here to there make five, and then approximately a half inch on the rib makes you fall short on your material root barrier panels that'll be this being installed here. They're actually replacing the styrene material that's currently being removed. And it's a shame if the uh, contractor was watching their project and their specs, they would save themselves a lot of grief from going back and forth on materials here.